We got this email from Caleb. Says, I'm working nights. I'm supposed to be sleeping by 5 a.m. I'm staying up to listen to your major announcement, as are a ton of maggots. So many of you are going to be so disappointed. Oh, my gosh. You're staying. Drink some coffee. Katie says, I hope it isn't too late to put in my prediction. I had a dream last night. I'm channeling my inner Melissa. That goes back to Brent and Melissa from the Ghost Whispers. Ghost Whispers. Oh, they're paranormal investigators at saxperiod.com. Melissa texted me August 30th, two weeks into the announcement I'm about to make. And said that she had had a dream, and her dream was eerily similar to what I'm about to announce. And I, I, I sent Brandon the, the screenshot of it, and we both got the chills. That she, because she, she didn't know anything that was going on. Uh, and um, so uh, Katie says, uh, I had a dream that Rob announced he was going to, <laughs> to Russia to talk to the powers to be to put an end to the war in Ukraine. Okay, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> My guess is that you guys blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. A good one. Uh, Jameson says Rob's running for president. Stop that. I'm not running for president. Dave says my guess is you're bringing the number one morning show back to the Sacramento airwaves uh, by replacing blah, blah, blah. We're not replacing anyone, but yes, we are bringing back the show to Sacramento, which I will get to in a moment. Steven says I get the feeling you're going to allow garbage waste listeners to have a short-term membership. Really? That's the, that's the announcement? Uh, really, I'm going to build this all up? Ooh, free trial day? I mean, that would we, be great to build it up. We've already done so that. I know. And, and yeah. right, and like I would for five days tell you. Uh. Uh, <laughs> Kevin says, Rad Radio is launching. Okay, that one I'll save because that's pretty good. We already did the Rad TV. It'll be filmed in front of a studio audience. Alex says, Usher will be playing halftime at Brian Palooza. Right, love that. We already did that. Brandon's going to be the station manager of Reno. I don't understand that one at all. <laughs> No, I'm not retiring. Okay. Jonathan. No, that's stupid. Anthony. I don't know. Yeah, okay. That one's not bad. Okay, I'll save that. I'm literally just doing this to torture you all. I'm just going to drag this out as long as I can. So it's turning to do eight-ish, ish, ish. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? Well, he said 8.15. There's two more minutes. Why would we go back to Reno? I love Reno, but why would we do that? That's We're already stupid. in Reno. We're in right. Reno. Yeah, exactly. That's a stupid announcement. Uh, my guess is, yes, they are going under, Amanda. Yes, that radio station, I don't know how that radio station is still on the air, but no, I wouldn't have anything to do with that radio station ever again. But thank you for writing. Rakila just wrote in and said, hurry up, I've got things to do today. <laughs> <laughs> Hands By the way, sweaty, right? Brandon, we, we uh, uh, on Friday we we tried as best we could to pay homage to Pat Martin. Was was Aww. was Friday his last day? September 29th was his last day. Oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know why everyone was writing in about. So I guess they were connecting the dots with the announcement or whatever. And, yeah, and because you okay. had you had paid homage to him, you but you'd have ended that homage with that's not what's happening. No. Um, but yeah, that's probably why it came up. But so, so for those of you that aren't in the Sacramento area, Pat Martin used to follow us on 98 Rock, which used to be our flagship station. Uh, and then he, sh- he, he shuffled over to a sister station called The Eagle. And he did mornings there for a couple of years, and he recently retired. And so a lot of people have put two and two together, and they've thought, oh, well, so you guys are going to go do that. or No, no, we're not. But I appreciate the effort, and we love Pat, and we wish him nothing but the best. Absolutely. Uh, okay, so... Here's your story. I was hired to do mornings straight out of uh, community college, which is ridiculous. I was 18 years old when I was hired. I, two weeks later, got the, or, or started on the air when I was 19 um, in South Lake Tahoe. And I did that for two years. And while I was in South Lake Tahoe, uh, Dawn came along and uh, I hired her because I not only did mornings, but I got into management. And uh, Dawn refused to stop following me wherever I went. <laughs> no, he asked me to come everywhere he went. And uh, I so love when he tries to turn it around. After two years in South Lake Tahoe, uh, I wound up in Reno on what was then 104.5. And it was K-Hit, uh, which was a um, country radio station at the time. And I was doing mornings there. And we needed a, uh, a midday winch. And so... <laughs> I told the program director, because I was just doing mornings at the time, uh, hire this bitch. And he did. Winch. <laughs> and, uh, and, and we were, we were, it was an independently owned radio station at the time. And then it got sold. And it got sold to a company called Lotus Communications. And whenever you're in radio and you're told that your radio station is being sold, you assume you're getting fired. And... 
the fear that you have over, you got to be kidding me, we just moved to Reno. I just moved Dawn to Reno, and now we're getting fired because we're getting bought by, I don't know who the hell Lotus Communications is. And they came in, and they bought us, and they kept all of us. And they kept us country. That was crazy. And over the next couple years, I continued to do mornings on 104.5. Don was doing middays. And eventually I took over as program director because somebody had to. <laughs> and we got into a war uh, with the other country radio station in Reno. And it became clear that it was just going to be endless blood between the two of us and nobody was going to be number one. And over the course of this, I, 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 I got promoted. I, got, I became what's called the operations manager. Um, and there was all sorts of things going on in Reno with Lotus Communications. And at every step, it was amazing to work with them and to work for them and to be part of this family-owned operation. And as radio was exploding and all these big corporations were taking over at the time, CBS, they're no longer in radio, and iHeart and Intercom, which is now Odyssey, and they were scooping up all these radio stations. And this family-owned corporation run by Howard Kalmanson, an amazing man, who, who Don and I, uh, in, in, I'm going to fast forward to 2015, Don and I, Thanks to the Kalmansons and KDOT, we were inducted into the Nevada Broadcasters Hall of Fame. The best part of that night was the two hours that Dawn and I had dinner with Howard. I love him so much. It was, it was so amazing. And, and at that point in 2015, we had worked with Lotus almost 30 years at that point, 25, I guess. I'd never spent that much time with him, not because of anything other than that wasn't the role of me or Howard. And it was the most amazing night to just be with him and his wife. And uh, we've, been on, we've been on 104.5 almost continuously since 1992. There was a little bit of a, a break there in the, the early aughts, which we rectified. I've never stopped loving my relationship with Lotus Communications. And We've never taken for granted the loyalty of Reno and what we've done in Reno with 104.5. And uh, a couple months ago, I walked away from 98 Rock in Sacramento. We were in the middle of negotiations. I gotta be somewhat careful about what I say I had no idea when I walked away what the hell I was going to do. I had plenty of ideas, but I didn't really have any idea. And when I walked away, I knew it was the right thing. I knew I couldn't partner any longer with big corporate radio. For since 1999, what is that, 24 years? Yeah. Every five years. You know how easy it was in Reno? I picked up the phone and I called the general manager who I always had a great relationship with, whether it was Dane, whether it was Mike, whether it was Greg. And I said, you want to keep doing this? They said, yes. Okay, cool. You want to keep it at this number? Great. That's it. That was what the negotiations were. Because that's what Lotus Communications is all about. And I was so tired of not dealing with Lotus Communications. I was so tired of every goddamn June 30th, every five years, being up until midnight, trying to get a major corporation to pull their head out of their ass and say... Yes, you're worth what you deliver. And so I walked away on June 23rd of this year. I didn't let it go to June 30th. And then 
six weeks later, I got an email that Jim Callinson, Howard's son, who had taken over Lotus Communications, Howard's still with us, still owns and operates the company, but Jim is the day-to-day -day operator, wanted to meet with me. I'd never met Jim. I know of Jim. And we, we alluded to uh, on this show, the, the dinner, because my voice, I had no voice, if you remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> And in fact, we met we met at a local restaurant in Sacramento that was so loud he couldn't hear me. <laughs> and so we had to drive to a different restaurant, which we shut down uh, after three hours. And excuse me while I take a drink. Thank you for the leftovers from that dinner, by the way. <laughs> You're very welcome. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. Jim and I met, and we were instant best friends. And... That didn't surprise me at all, but God damn, it was a great moment. And I didn't know what he wanted to talk about. They, uh, Lotus Communications owned stations in Las Vegas, Tucson, Bakersfield, Fresno, Boise. I'm thinking, I don't know. We've had a lot of success in Reno. Does he want to put us on in another city? What does he want to do? And I, 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 I honestly had no idea. It's just, I, I've, Dawn has heard the story. Brandon's heard the story. You do 100 meetings, and 99 of them don't matter. It's the one that does, that matters. And this was the one. And uh, turns out Lotus Communications has a, a radio station in Reno. A few of them, actually. I'm sorry, in Sacramento. My apologies. And Lotus Communications has spent a lot of time doing Spanish radio. They've been very, very successful with Spanish radio. They've, they're... Number one, last I heard in Sacramento, with their uh, with their Spanish radio station, but they got a new one. They got a new uh, a new stick, as we call it, a new frequency, and so they're moving their Spanish station, and they needed to do something with their their existing one. And as Jim and I were talking, it became obvious that obviously Rad Radio needed to return to Sacramento, needed to return to the the airwaves. And as we were talking, I looked at him and I said, I'm going to say something to you that I said to a general manager, long since fired, a decade ago, who laughed in my face when I brought it up a decade ago. So feel free to laugh in my face. And he didn't. He went, you got to be kidding me. I said, no, I'm not kidding you. Why not? I said, why don't we, why don't we do more than just put Rad Radio back on in Sacramento? Why don't we actually make Rad Radio Rad Radio? And so, on Monday, November 13th, Rad Radio will return to Sacramento 24-7. We will do the morning show live every morning. We will repeat it in the afternoons, and you'll get the best of Rad the rest of the time. 104.7 FM, 8.90 AM. And by the way, the AM station is a monster. For all of you that are truck drivers... Delivery people, don't sit on that AM station. It is a monster. 1047 is a great stick. Us gringos have no idea what 1047 <laughs> is in Sacramento because we haven't been paying attention for a couple of years. It's a great signal. Um, but the AM station is a monster so that we can truly flex. And it's just the beginning. I know these guys. We have partnered with Lotus. Brandon was... I. I I want to say blessed, gifted, fortunate enough. He was there uh, a few weeks ago when we finalized this deal. It was a three and a half hour meeting, two hours of which were just fun. And Brandon got to see and hear what it's like to have human beings negotiate a deal of monumental proportions and how human beings do it i i I, told, I pulled brandon aside at one point i said look man you can go but you're getting a master class right now you're watching how true professionals negotiate a partnership which is what this is and <laughs> brandon what did you make out of that day and the amount of time that i've been with this show quarter of my life, maybe half of my life now. Um, <clears throat> I've never seen a group of people on the same page 
with this show ever. It's always been a battle. You know, Rob talking about every five years having to, to struggle to get what this show is worth from a huge corporation. And it killed everyone in the building when this stuff happened because of all the energy that it took out of Rob. It was just, it was painful to watch. It was painful to experience. It was painful as a show member because you didn't know if we were going to have a home in Sacramento after all of that. But to be a part of that meeting, I'm sorry, I'm, this is a really proud moment for me and for Rob. And that meeting was a true, not just a love fest, but a uh, thirst for power to believe in what this product is and strive to give the world what they deserve and out of this entertainment that we bring. I'm just, I'm emotional because of the time that we've had with Lotus and experiencing, and that, that was my vision of radio. And then to come to find out that isn't radio, um, some of the, some of the best years were in that building with Lotus. And I remember Rob saying when the rad show started, when he created that, that he always wanted to surround us with good people. And it, it broke my heart as the years went on to see him, as Brandon said, just every single time. I mean, we always knew what negotiation time was because we knew how long the contracts were, but you didn't even have to know the date. You would just know by Rob's face and what he's going through. And, and I don't get like, you have to have a thick skin in this business. And so it's very hard for me to get butt hurt. But I, you know, those times watching Rob and knowing how we have always performed and yet Rob still has to fight for us. I, I, I don't even know if I have strong enough words for that. And I don't want to say anything bad about anybody, but it, it was very, very hard to sit there and go, what more does somebody want? Like, we are literally doing everything and we do our job and we do it well and we give it everything. And so I, I just, I'm emotional because you, when you walk in the room with people from Lotus, it they just feel good and it always feels good and they're good people. And I'm just elated that the vision you always had for the show and you have kept us surrounded with good people, but of course some are going to linger, linger in like it's fully come to fruition. Now that's exactly what it is. Just good people that we're surrounded by because this business has terrible people. And so to be able to surround yourself with nothing but good people is amazing. And we're so lucky to have a family in Lotus because one thing that we all feel that the rad show is it's a family the the people in this building we're family the maggot army they're our family we bring you into our lives and you are kind enough to let us into yours and to the previous companies were like abusive relationships <laughs> and to to be in that meeting that rob was referring to it felt like they were an advocate for family and and stood for what we believed in they do and they believe in us, and they've always believed in in Dawn and me, and they've given us so many opportunities. And I, I when I uh, I texted uh, Jim Kalmanson, the CEO, I think is his title of Lotus over the weekend, because uh, you always have to, you know, you got to write contracts and you got to get lawyers involved. And um, I texted him, I, I think yesterday, I said, Jim, I'm just signing the thing the way it is. And uh, and he texted back. He said, "Man, I wish I was there to hug you." <laughs> and I do. I wish he was here. I do. I mean, that's just that's just how amazing this whole thing is. And it is it's, it's a true partnership. A lot of you wrote in, and and I, I had lunch with a couple people last week, and they said, "I've heard you're buying a radio station." <laughs> well, no, but I am partnering with Lotus um, because of what I have told you guys, all of you. For 30 years. I believe in us. I believe in me. I'm betting on us. I'll, I'll tell you right now, I don't think Lotus minds me sharing. We're not getting a salary or anything out of this. We're getting a piece. We're going to make what we produce. Because I believe that that's what this show can and will do. Not just in the mornings, but all day long. And I believe 
that Sacramento radio people, half of them are trembling right now. 25% of them are already calling, asking how they can be part of this. And the other 25% are dismissing it. The latter of the group will be the ones that will pay the greatest price, which is a little bit of a vindication. I didn't do this for that. I didn't do this for vengeance. I did this because it's what's right. It's what's right for my team. It's what right, what's right for the show. It's what's right for Sacramento Radio. We pick on Sacramento endlessly, but we have been here for a quarter of a goddamn century. This is our town. And we belong on the radio. And we belong on the radio not just in the mornings, but all goddamn day. <laughs> And Monday, November 13th, and there's a reason, by the way, for that. By the way, let me pull back the curtain a little bit since I'm just going to completely, you know, abscond the entire show here. You would never usually announce this. You would just do it. So, like, if, if what we were doing was turning on a country station, you wouldn't announce that because you would be afraid that another company in town was thinking, oh, my God, we're going to go country and they would then turn on their radio station and they would beat us to the punch. The reason we de decided to announce a month ahead of time, because it, and there, there's a reason it's gonna take a month. Lotus has to shift all of their Spanish listeners off of 1047 FM and 890 AM to their new frequency. And it, that, that takes time. You gotta, you gotta tell people, go here, go here, here, here. Hmm. Plus, Brandon will not be sleeping starting today until November 13th. Oh, Brando! <laughs> Because there is so much to do Did on the techno coffee? side. And, and by the way, <laughs> Kyle, you won't be sleeping much either as soon as Brandon ropes you into everything you have to do. Good to know. I, I didn't want to sleep anyways. Good. Um, oh, man. Usually you wouldn't announce this because they can counter-program. They can attack you. They can fix. We all sat down and said, you can't counter-program this. <laughs> right. What are they going to do? What is anyone in Sacramento going to goddamn do? They haven't figured it out in 25 years. What are they going to do to counter-program us? Nothing is the answer. So we're telling you now that on Monday, November 13th, we will be on Sacramento Radio at 104.7 FM and 890 AM. We're not going anywhere in terms of Rad Radio, Rad TV, Rock 104.5 in Reno. Who knows where we're going after this? It starts Monday, November 13th. We'll be on for six weeks or so. We'll take a holiday break. Then we'll come back, and we'll be on non-goddamn stop so that we can do what we've done for a quarter of a century, own this town. <laughs> we already own Reno, and that's been a hell of a ride. And we're going to keep owning Sacramento, and we are going to put our arm around Lotus Communications, and we are going to ride this horse dead and go as far as it will take us. Kyle, I know you had a bunch of guesses, yeah. hopes. How disappointing is this announcement? It's not disappointing at all. It's <laughs> really cool. We don't get to share the airwaves with it, with anybody else on the audience. Because, you know, if you're, if you're with another station, let's say, you know, going back to where we used to be, you have to share it in the afternoon with another show. Nights had another person. We're going to be on at 24-7. This is really cool. We can tell anybody in the Sacramento area to listen to us at any time. I mean, we can do that on the app, too. But, I mean, if you are a trucker, that, that AM station, that's huge. That's a huge range. When you're told you should hang out with the people in your building, we do. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Rob. Anybody. And Dawn. The Rob. Anybody. And Dawn Show. In honor of the latest evolution of Rad Radio, we proudly present Bad Radio. That's Brandon, anybody, and Don. Uh, what? <laughs> There's more on the way. A stupid email was that? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm just going to read them as they come. Uh, Christine says, while your announcement doesn't directly affect me, I live in Texas. Yay! And I watch y'all on Rad TV. When you're live and listen on your app when you're not, I could not be more happy for you and your team, Rob. You continue to impress me. Congratulations on this amazing new adventure. Thank you so much. Monday, November 13th, we'll be on 104.7 FM and 8.90 AM in Sacramento. Amanda says, I'm so damn happy. I already listen all the time. I jumped up and down, and I texted my husband. I'm sure he was thrilled with that. 
Randall says, put me to work. I'll fill Rob's stapler. I'll take out the trash. I'll walk the dogs. Anything. Brandon does all that already. Um, Who's going to walk me? Yeah, right? Uh, Adam says, oh, great. Uh, here comes the emails. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Adam says, hearing Dawn break down and seeing you embrace on Rad TV was fantastic. I've got to go chop onions now. Uh, Tanaya says, seeing Rob and Dawn hug like that during the commercial break hit me right in the feels. Right, and hit my uh, white sweatshirt. I know. I'll, I'll draw. Well. I'll go get it professionally cleaned. She, she got makeup all over my I damn did. Niners hoodie. And, uh-huh. I, and I don't even wear that much makeup, so I feel like now it's all on your sleeve. That was like that was the my face. The, uh, the the first moment I realized <laughs> at the time I was dating a black woman who I later married was because her makeup got all over a white shirt of mine. <laughs> but I've never had Dawn do it to me. <laughs> Jesus. Because obviously, if you're black, you have to wear like you know brownish makeup. Right, right, right. Uh, well, the, and, I mean, you embrace her more. <laughs> I'm I not really hope. embracing you that much. So. Uh, Nicole says, "Congratulations to you all! What a great day for your maggot army, who are winning with this announcement too. Seeing the embrace between Rob and Dawn, and hearing the tears of joy when you got to commercial brought tears to my eyes, which says a lot, since my soul is various shades of black." Okay. Uh, <laughs> Adam says, damn it, now my in-laws are going to become maggots. I married into a wonderful Mexican family 20 years ago, and every time I'm in the car with them, it's 1047 FM. Now I feel they will accidentally tune in and love the show, and they are going to be calling me asking for context about what they are talking about on, quote, my show, which is how my wife describes it. Congrats. Excited for you all. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So I don't even I don't even know where the new frequency is, because what do I care? But 104.7 FM is shifting their Spanish listeners over the next month. And then it'll be 104.7 FM and 890 AM will be all rad radio all the time in Sacramento. Robert says, I just wanted to say congrats. Love to hear your team's true emotions about this new journey. I feel like I started cunning cutting opinions in my cubicle at work. Oh, maybe cut, onions. Cutting hmm. onions. Because that's typically what people do. When it's not very eat. sanitary to cut yeah. onions in your cubicle. Right. Nor opinions. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do that on your off time. <laughs> Rachel says the value of your beautiful and awesome show awesome. reflects what is to come, and I think it's so amazing that this is just the start of your successful journey. Looking forward to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so, so Kyle funny. and Brandon, you were my next victims, but I needed to get it together. <laughs> Oh, uh, more hugs. I need to go to my desk and get it together. Lucky you. <laughs> hey, maybe by the time I hug you, I won't have any makeup left. And uh, your, your shirts are safe. Okay, good. <laughs> Shannon says, I'm crying listening to you guys. This is so, so, so beyond what I expected you to announce. This is so well-deserved. I'm effing excited. All right. Uh, Brianna says, I'm so happy for you all. I'm proud. I've been listening since the fourth grade. I'm 34 now. What? Whoa. No, no. I'm 34. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> I have a quick question. When the rad radio station is playing the best of bits, will it be segments like the app or the full-blown best of shows? Mm. Insanely happy for you all. It'll be it'll be just like the app. We're we're gonna we'll likely schedule things a little bit differently because we're actually gonna be on a radio station and we're not just broadcasting through our app. But the content itself between the replays will be primarily best ofs or quote classics from the last five or so years. Uh, Chris says, weird question. Will you broadcast from the new station and leave your studio? I would suspect not, but it just occurred to me. No, we'll be here. Uh, it, only because we just, this is home. We love it here. And in fact, yeah. uh, uh, when, uh, when Jim, and, and we should mention Kurt, who's the general manager of Rad Radio 1047 FM 890 AM, when they came here, they were blown away by our facilities. Love it here. Uh, and, uh, and they're just, they're, they're just, I can't just shut up. I just can't. They're just so amazing. <laughs> Uh, Robert says, congrats on your return to Sacramento's Airwaves. 1047 FM and 890 AM have been added to my favorite stations list. Great. Oh, well, very nice. Well, for the next month, you're going to hear a lot of Spanish. Then we'll be back. Uh, Cherie says, I'm tearful too. I'm stoked. It's happy tears. I always looked up to you since 1998 as parents, as family, as my news source. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Again, reading these as I go, Brent says, Rob, will you be announcing to us when your station's ratings absolutely decimate all other Sacramento stations? Yeah, and that'll be um, next spring because the way these things work, so so we're going to go on on November 13th. That's right in the middle of what we call the fall ratings period. We're only going to be on for five or six weeks until we take our holiday break. Uh, and so the fall rating, well, I, I will tell you right now what's going to happen. 
the fall ratings period in Sacramento, you will see this leveling off of anyone, which, let me back up a little bit. What we've already seen in Sacramento is people just aren't listening to the radio. They disappeared. I was, uh, I think it was Kyle I showed the, the ratings to. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've never seen them that bad. Since we left uh, the radio. Oh. Uh, and it, yeah, it's, it's brutal. And, and, but they're not going anywhere. So th- we know where they're going. They're going to us. They're going to our app and things like that. So what will happen is you'll see this flattening um, for the second half of the fall ratings period. And then uh, we'll get into the winter ratings period, which is January, February, March. And that's where you'll start to see us ascend. Um, I don't know that we'll finish number one in the winter because it takes time. These things take time. I do, I do know we will be number one in the spring. So that, that would, though, those announcements would be summer of 2024. It, it's, it's, it's not a short-term game. It's a long-term game. Now, how big are the, the, the fall and winter ratings? Do those ones matter as much either? Like summer, I know, doesn't really matter so much. A lot right. of people are out of town and on holiday and school's not in session kind of thing. Fall and spring are the big ones. Okay. Um, you know, we can only get on as, as we can get on in fall. That's why I'm targeting spring. Um, and then, obviously, fall of 2024 is when we really put our, put our boot on the neck of everyone else God. in uh, Sacramento Radio. Uh, Dimitri says, will your extra member stuff like sports and Ian be on the rad radio all day? We're, we haven't made those decisions yet. Brandon and I were talking about just the other day. Uh, will mix picks the, the podcast that we do every Wednesday morning, uh, tech to you Tuesday, which I have not spent any time promoting today. And I apologize for that. Oh, that's today. Uh, it is today. It feels like a Monday. It does. Uh, Ian will be on from tech to you, uh, at 10 AM on rad TV. And I know he's got a great show plan where he's dealing with um, scams and and people being swindled and, and things like that. Uh, so it's oh. a really good one to tune into. Will that be on Rad Radio 104, 7, 8, 90 AM? We haven't made those decisions yet. That will all be – look, this has all been – again, two months ago is when I had dinner with Jim Kalmanson of Lotus Communications. And here we are making the announcement as we try to put this all together. I pulled Brandon aside, I think, on Friday, and I said, dude, this is about to get real. You are, we are never going to sleep again because we have to put this on. I haven't programmed a radio station in 30 years, and that's basically what oh, I'm being Jesus. asked to do. Along with, with, the, with Brandon and, and the guys at 104.7 and 890 AM, we've got to put together a whole radio station now. So it's going to be super busy. All of these things are going to be coming. Uh, Taylor says, I guess Kyle is going to be ridiculously busy now making best ofs for all day, every day. Now, he already does that. Yeah. That's already, it's already, the only, the only thing that changes is what Brandon was alluding to. There's, we get a little more, it's, it's just not exciting to explain, inside radio to where we have to time things out more. Yeah. And, and, and that's where Kyle and his calculator are going to. And oh, I'm pretty God. good at that. Tracy says, damn it, Dawn, I knew I shouldn't have put my fa- makeup face on this morning. I feel this in my core. When I left my last company, and now I work for a great company, I'm so happy that you guys have found your home so well-deserved. Yeah. Well, we've always been with Lotus, yeah. and we're just so glad to be part of them. Uh, 100%. In right? Always. <laughs> yes. We're, it's, I mean, 100% that we're just with the yes. goodness. Uh, Caleb says, I'm drunk, <laughs> and I'm trying to stay awake after the night shift while listening. You're a goddamn genius. I love you and your perseverance for perfection. Does Thank your you. night shift include drinking, or you got drunk when you got home? I hope it's when you got home. Like it's his happy hour. Hey, celebrating with right. us. Uh, Robert says, "Congrats to not only you, Rob, but the amazing team that you have with you. As much as I love the announcement, I hope down the road that you're able to take over the gay area as well. Gay area. Yeah. I mean, uh, who knows, man? The sky is the limit, and uh, I, I don't want to speak for Jim and Lotus Communications, but I know how big this could get." Uh, Jamie says, congratulations. Thank you so much. Again, I'm just going through these emails as they come in. Matt says, when you say the AM is a big deal, is that just a wider range as far as AM frequency so it goes further in the distance? That's not, there's not a lot of AM I listen to other than the horrible news talk on special occasions. Uh, yeah, no, the AM signal, 890 AM, it's a, it's a, it's just a monstrous signal. And since all we do is talk, because a lot, a lot of people don't like AM because of what they perceive as the quality. Like, they don't like the music on, on AM. Fine, we're just talk. And uh, 890 has this enormous signal. You get it in parts of the Bay Area. You get it in, in Lake Tahoe, parts of northern Nevada. 
way up north into Chico, Redding, things like that. It's it's just a monster. Do you know what it's making me think of? And I don't know if it's if this is the same. Do you remember because you would go to Southern California, KFI in the sky? Of course. And that thing would travel forever. Yes. I don't know if they're still around or if they're still a thing, but it just it would be anytime you couldn't get anything when you're traveling in California, it's like try KFI. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Zach says, will there be billboards with listen or the dog gets it around Sacramento until November now? Uh, we will be doing a huge billboard campaign. It won't be until the first of the year uh, because, again, we're just going to we're going to sign on on Monday, November 13th on 104.7. FM and 890 AM, uh, and we are going to take our regular holiday break. And so uh, early uh, January, we will have billboards everywhere. Uh, I don't think we're going to do Listen to the Dog Gets It at the start. It's just going to be here we are, come find us again kind of thing. So we get, we're doing like a big picture group picture again because the, the last one I was kind of heavy and chunky. Do we get to update new pictures? Oh, my God, Kyle, that what? doesn't matter. Oh, to me it matters. Wait, but it shouldn't. You know, people I know are being it shouldn't. slaughtered in Israel. I know, and I'm shallow and in really? America. Really? You had to bring that up? <laughs> Oh, I did. I thought that we... we're not putting ourselves on the billboard, but yes. Oh, I, okay. oh thank well, God. I know okay. Brandon's doing a picture thing for Brian oh. Palooza. Yeah, we have a couple of different uh, versions of the billboard already kind of mocked up. I'll show you what we've what we've made up. You might be impressed with how right. good you looked even back then. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do another photo shoot. Quote quote. It's gonna be very uh, very relaxed here in the studio. No lights and no. Uh. Not it's not a whole production. We're just gonna a, take a picture with the right, iPhone. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm not a photo shoot person. And that's all for like Ugh. our Brian Napalooza glossy photos. Correct. Yeah, it's just an updated autograph photo shoot. It, you could put an th- old picture of me, and I don't care. Uh, Alicia says, as a better class listener, to see Rob and Dawn embrace during the commercial break, thirty years of their hard work culminating to this moment is simply beautiful. You did it. And you did it your way. Okay, Q Frank Sinatra. And, I mean, Brandon and Kyle. And Brandon's been with us forever. And he's always worked his booty off. And Kyle is so freaking amazing. Kyle just slides right in. It's like Kyle's always been here. Oh, yeah. thank you. <laughs> I love it. Eric says, yeah. congratulations on reclaiming your throne in Sacramento. Let me be the first to offer a bad idea on how you can improve this. You need to make a bunch more bad radio. And then for the best of, have rad on one station and bad on the other. <laughs> Yeah, that's an awful idea. Uh, Gavin says, I thought your announcement was you put on a station, but we're running a midday show. Like, how can I enjoy my morning without rad radio and a cup of coffee? Yeah, that was stupid. No, we're not going anywhere. We're still here in the mornings. Idiot. Oh, but thank you. Uh, For what? Brad's you know, just emailing, okay. being a listener. Brad says, congratulations, Ron, Dawn, and the team. Oh, who's Ron? That's great. You drunk too? <laughs> Love that Lotus is local ownership and amazing. Yeah, family owned. Uh, I see Lotus has stations all over the West. Care to bring that up? Huh? No. Yeah, they're probably drunk. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're, 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 go, go drunk. You're home. Uh, William says, November 13th is my birthday, Yay! and I'm a truck driver. Oh I- <laughs> That's the horn. I already have live TV, but I love AM radio. Way to go, Rad Radio. My wife is crying. Oh, wow. Okay. Aww. So you have to sign a contract when you become a trucker. My dad was a trucker that you like AM radio. You have to. It's official. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel says, I've been listening since I moved to California in 2000. Truthfully, the only reason I listened to that other station was the morning show to listen to you guys. Soon as that was over, I switched to my MP3 app. I listened to my own music since you left that other station. I haven't listened to them at all. Neither has anyone else, pal. Brutal. Uh, I cannot wait. I'll be listening soon on your new radio station. Thank you so much. You can wait. You will wait. It'll be Monday, November 13th, 104.7 FM in Sacramento, 890 AM. Brandy says, please tell me there's a giant billboard with you guys smiling and your announcement right across the street from the other radio station that won't be mentioned. That's mean. No. Not really. No. Um, I, I, do, I do want to put a billboard somewhere near there. It's not really a good location, though. But I'll, we're going to try to figure something out. You want me to scout some spots? Oh, man. No. Oh, okay. All right. No, I don't. No. No, I, I'll take care of the marketing on that one. But thank you. Can't we just do what we do? Well, that is one of the things I do. Right? Yeah, but that is one of the things I do. Remember, uh, I was just alluding to it. I take my boot, is, and I yes. put it on the neck, and I yes. crush. <laughs> they won't be there for very long anyways. Oh. Uh, will there be a chance of you just get... No, shut up. 
Okay, I gotta save that and read it. Six, okay, six. Uh, currently when I get in my hair, uh, because radio sucks. Yes, I know radio sucks. That's why we're here to save it. Uh, BJ, okay, I know everything's getting planned on. What? What are you talking about? I know everything is still getting planned out, but any future plans for doing something in Reno? What? We're on in Reno every morning on 104.5. We're going to be there for Brian Apalooza the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Maybe he, I, I don't know. I don't, you might need to email us again. Uh, Carrie clarify. says, are you worried about the fact that less people seem to listen to the actual radio? Radio's dying. Radio need. look, I'm sorry. I'm, I, my, my ego is, is fully unpacked here. Radio needs us. Radio needs talent. Radio needs humans. Because you can get music anywhere. And this is what radio and what corporations don't understand other than Lotus Communications. You need humans that are here to entertain. And, and, and no, I'm not concerned because that's why we're available on all of these various platforms. And we will be the most listened to thing on radio in Sacramento like we already are and have been in Reno and in Sacramento for the last quarter century. The fact that fewer people are using radio, I can't do anything about that. I can just keep bringing as many of them in as possible. Uh, Samantha wrote in, said, I'm so excited for all you guys. My 10-year-old daughter wants to know if Queenie will be coming back. I would love to have Queenie back whenever she's ready. Uh, Josh says, uh, these emails are short because I'm driving. I've listened forever. And when I've listened to best ofs, blah, blah, blah. How far back do best ofs go? What are we doing, like five years, Brando? Yeah, give or take. Uh, Do we have that many? (laughs) Yes. Oh, I was happy. Whole goddamn company's giving us our whole goddamn radio station, and she still does that. Uh, so glad you're finally coming back to the Sacramento Airwaves. Uh, Sac Radio is horrible. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Aaron says, well, we have to learn Spanish. No. No. <laughs> no. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. We we will be on 104.7 FM and 890 AM, and the Spanish station is moving. But yeah, you, right. What Don said. <laughs> Melissa says, I moved to the Central Valley two years ago. I listened on the app. After this announcement, I am presenting the Lotus stations in my car to support them as they are supporting you. Presetting. I think that's what she meant, right. but she yeah. said presenting. Okay. I present you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Kevin says he's standing up in the office and clapping. Bravo. <laughs> okay, that's long. I'll have to read that for later. <laughs> Very happy for you guys. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Bree <laughs> says this is an interesting experience. Experience. I'm tearing up at the emotional reactions of Dawn and Brandon, but I'm also in rural Sonoma County and service is going I. What? Hey, I just read what they write. <laughs> and going out, maybe? Service is right. going I, I, period, and out in red oh, TV. Oh. In and out. In and out. Ah, in so and I out. didn't actually hear the announcement, so I don't know what the news is. Please repeat. Oh, now I want a burger. Yeah, animal fries too. Right? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> 